Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being a show where I talk about TV shows or the adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Arrow. Now, this episode of Arrow dealt heavily with Andy, like, you know, whether he should be trusted or not. Like, because it surprised me at the beginning, that whole, like, him getting that gun thing. Like, I, I, I don't know, I expected him to kind of... I don't know, I, I wasn't kind of expecting John to kind of catch him, but when John did, I wasn't expecting him to tell John everything. I was like, wait. And so, like, he was able to tell the whole group and everything. I was like, whoa. So he's not a bad guy? Because it was just constantly, like, the, like everything he did, it did, because I was like, I was with Oliver the entire time. I was like, this just, it seemed like too much of a setup. He's playing you, isn't he? Um, but, like, there were moments I was like, I'm still not 100% sure. But I did, I was 100% sure with that whole arrow thing. It's like, Literally, like, multiple arrows fired, and he only got hit with one of them in, like, a non-specific, you know, area. Like, somewhere that wouldn't be vital. I was like, okay, it's like, at that moment, I was like, yeah, he's a bad guy. But I thought they were going to turn it up on you, like, twist it and make it so it's like, oh, no, he's actually is a good guy. Oliver was just mistaken and was wrong. I was like, but I kind of trusted Oliver's decision on it. Because it is, like, you know, Diggle is 100% blinded when it comes to Andy. He's so, he so wants to believe, you know, because Oliver kind of talked him into it. But, you know, Oliver said that thing where he's basically like, people don't change. I didn't change. And, like, after everything I experienced on Lee and you, there's, like, no way, you know, I'm screwed. I can never change. But then you have Andy, and he's like, there's no way Andy can. Like, you know, after kind of being programmed into, you know, I've kind of programmed him a little bit, so that's not easy to break away from. But multiple times throughout the episode, Oliver was trying to give Andy a chance, but it just it didn't work out. He couldn't shake his distrust. I mean, he I found it very interesting because he ended up confiding in Laurel, which was very nice. Uh, cause people were like someone had pointed out like she's kind of like she might be kind of taking a diggle. Like, you know, approach like she might be like becoming the next Diggle, like the one that he confides in with. But I mean, especially in this situation, she he couldn't confide in Diggle about it because if he went to Diggle about it, you know, you know, that's Diggle's brother. He's not going to listen. I mean, because even Laura was like, you better be 100 percent sure before you go accusing Andy, because if you're wrong, your yours and Diggle's relationship will never recover. I mean, you the, it took them up to a certain point in this season to recover from. The whole Lila situation last season, so. But it turns out, yep, uh, Oliver was right not to trust Andy. Andy was working with them the entire time. And then we also have that whole thing, because basically Malcolm had stolen uh, the idol that um, Dark draws his powers from, which I didn't correlate. Was this the first episode they correlated that that's the same idol? Yeah, it's the same idol from the island. It's like, wait a minute. Especially like when you find out what happened, you know, like Oliver ended up burying Ryder after he ended up like going commando and killing a lot of um, Ryder's men. So, but it's like they buried him in that um in that cave, but he still had like the idol then. So it's like, how did Dark get his hands on it? Like, where is Ryder right now? Is he still alive or is he dead? And that's the reason why Dark has it. Maybe, like, Dark, they found him. Maybe Hive found Ryder and then Dark took the idol and killed. I don't know what the situation is. Because that's very interesting. That's how Dark's always maintained his powers by killing people. Because that idol feeds off human life force. Very interesting uh, way to obtain power. I do like, um,. Because Oliver had brought it up this episode that he had recognized the idol from Lee and you. And I love that Laura was like, yeah, you really don't like talking about that place, do you? Because it's like everything that happened on that island that correlates to present day, he doesn't talk about. Let's not forget, like, Slade popping up in season two. Like, Slade was a big part of, you know, his experience on Lee and you. I mean, in his mind, he was under the impression that Slade was dead, so... You can't blame them for that, but it's like they're constantly getting surprised by stuff that happened to um, Ollie, Ollie on um, Lee and Yu that's coming back to bite him in the ass now. But, you know, Dark got his idol back, um, fully powered, and he ended up, you know, stabbing Laura with an arrow, which is like, in that moment, you're like, whoa, 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 wait, is she knew Laura is the one in the grave, because, like, you know, because it didn't cross, like, 
I had a bad feeling when he got his powers back and he made everyone stop. I was like, this is the moment he's about to take one of them down, isn't he? He just stabs with the arrow. Granted, she she was okay and her and Oliver were talking in the hospital, you know, after her surgery and whatnot. But then it cuts away and then it comes back to her like seizing and dying. And it's like, wait, what? Laurel, it's they just killed off the black canary, which is like, I hope not, because I hope not for multiple reasons. One, I like Laurel. Two, the Lance family has had enough problems. All right, first, it's Sarah dying, then coming out to find out that Sarah's still alive, and then seeing her, like, you know, her dying, you know, again. I mean, granted, she did come back again. But, you know, and then you got um, Detect um, Detective Lance with his, you know, heart condition. It's like, that family can't catch a break. If Laurel's dead, that sucks. But also, but I'm thinking that's totally got to be a fake out. Like, because, like, it cut away from um, Ollie and Laurel talking. So either she really, you know, died after saying what she needed to say or, like, they faked that. Because to me, I'm thinking, like, maybe they're trying to lure Dark into a false sense of security. He thinks he's, you know, knocked Oliver off balance. You know, this way, you know, he won't. I don't know. Maybe he thinks he's, he's got the upper hand, but secretly he doesn't. I don't know. I feel like that joke, it's fake. There's no way they can kill off, you know. Because it's like, some people are like, how are you going to kill off the Black Canary? It's like, maybe, you know, because in this episode, she she got an offer from Dark's wife to be like the next head ADA. I, I forgot. It's like, she's basically getting a new job, but it's like a higher position. And, you know, she talked to her dad about taking that job, but her dad brought it up that like, he's like, if you take this job, because she wants to take it because this way she has better she can keep a better eye on dark's wife you know as the new mayor a very interesting thing that came up really quickly though is like uh something um even though you know oliver kind of dropped out like they were saying like still like 48 percent of the voters wrote his name on a ballot anyway just because that many people believed in him so that was kind of that was kind of nice but um you know she wants to keep an eye on dark's wife and she feels like the best way would be to take the job but her dad points out if you take this job, you won't be able to become, you won't be the Black Canary anymore because basically you're going to be watched 24-7, especially because all the other heads, you know, head honchos in, you know, in town, you know, whether it's past mayors or, you know, the, um, any city officials, including, you know, that fall under her category as like her new job, you know, were all killed. So there'd be extra security on her. Plus Dark's wife would be, you know, be her ball, so definitely she'd be keeping an eye out for her, so it's like, she never have a time, she never have time to be the Black Canary anymore, and Oliver actually talked her into it, because he's like, because Oliver wanted to become mayor, because he needed someone, like, he needed to, to really fight, you need someone who can walk amongst, you know, out fight in the day, you know, the arrow fights in the shadow of night, so they need someone out in the light, to fight them as well, and that's what he wanted to become mayor for, but, you know, with Laurel's new position, she would have been able to do that, so he's like, you know, the reason why you became the Black Canary is because you want to, you know, continue the mantle that Sarah had passed you, but it's like, no, Sarah's, you know, because Sarah had died, to keep that torch alive, but it's like, Sarah's alive now, you don't have to, like, keep, your reason for becoming the Black Canary isn't necessary anymore, so it's like, go out there, you know, and fight in a day of light, you know, but... I don't know, man. That, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that they faked her death because, like, you know, because that was always the thing. Like, if it was Diggle in the grave, then it'd be Diggle, like, faking um, his death. Granted, the whole team, if it is fake, the whole team is going to be super pissed at Oliver because he's in on it. Because, side note, we also have, like, Laurel has that little picture of herself that Oliver kept on the island. He showed it to that uh, Russian lady that he's working with on, um, on Lee and you in the past. And basically, they had made um, a promise. Oliver promised to tell her family what happened to her and her brother. And if something if something happens to her, if she dies on the island, if Oliver dies, that she promises to go tell Laurel everything that happened to him on the island. So the fact is that she has that picture. I I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Mean? Did he give that back to her in an earlier series? That's, see, that's my problem when I don't rewatch earlier seasons. I forget stuff. I don't. Did he ever give that picture to her? Because basically, she's been holding on to it this whole time. I thought it was kind of sweet. She's like, "Go back, to, you know. You and Felicity will, you know, eventually get back to, you know, good place. You know, 
I might not have been the love of your life, but you were the love of mine, saying something like that, which made me think, like, is she about to die now or something? Like, and then it's just like, no, no, because I was like, expecting something to happen, and then it did happen. So it's like, I, I really hope it's she didn't die. As side note, we find out a little bit about Malcolm apparently is working with Hive for Thea so that him and Thea can be, you know, can avoid dying in the, you know, Hive's Genesis, you know, plan. And we had that little thing where Thea went up against Malcolm and he was basically like, without your bloodlust, you can never hope to beat me, which is like, ooh, nice way to shake your daughter's confidence now. I mean, she was handling her own, but she like she had the upper hand against him. She had those swords to his neck earlier, but she couldn't kill him because you know she didn't want to be a killer. So, questions we have will not be answered until April twenty seventh when the show returns. Hit me with that ending, and now I have to wait for more. It's like, oh, I hate you. I hate you, the CW. I really, really do. So you know, maybe maybe then we'll find out about this whole grave situation. Maybe we'll find out, you know. I don't know, like, because you know Diggle's got to be feeling crappy now, too, because Diggle will probably go and blame himself because he's like, I trusted Andy and it led to this, and Laurel's dead now, so. <sighs> but that's really all I want to talk about in this episode. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.